folks, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, on today's episode, I'm really excited. We actually have a, a special guest uh, joining us from London. Uh, my name is Alex Massioli, and I'm here with my co-host. Brian Gorman. And today we have Danish Chaudhry. Uh, Danish is head of, of Bitcoin.com exchange. Um, they've been, uh, their new exchange recently launched as of last year. Uh, and we brought him on really just to kind of talk to him about how the retail side of the crypto trading market is going, how they're seeing traction, um, and how this volatility is treating them. So thank you for joining us, Danish. Pleasure to have you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Extra yeah, absolutely. my name properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, just to get conflicts out of the way, I actually know Danish. I uh, consider him a friend, and um, I uh, sometimes don't pronounce his name properly. <laughs> um, but on purpose, just so it suits my ease. Uh, but Danish, uh, why don't you guys? Why don't you tell us a little bit about um, your background, about Bitcoin.com exchange background? Um, you know wh how you guys came to be uh, and launch, and what what new products or what visions do you and, and Roger Ver have um, moving forward with this? Cool. Um, well, so. A little bit of background to myself. Uh, I come from a traditional finance industry, so uh, been around the more on the buy side around the asset management industry. Uh, was a company called BlackRock. Um, doing small, company. small, tiny, small company. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I always say like a tiny company or a company called BlackRock because when I started, it was like 800 people or a thousand people. Uh, but at the time I left, it was like 16,000 people. So it went from like, you know, nothing in assets to six trillion assets. Um, so was on the fundamental equity and multi-asset side over there, um, got bored, Did, uh, had a couple of startups, sold those, was a VC, and then, you know, kind of, uh, as with everyone, kind of got into the blockchain space like two or three years ago. I'd always been involved since 2012. I think my first purchase was around 2012. Um, oh, wow. So really early. No yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you know how... Uh, you obviously being in a market, you get curious, like, oh, hey, what's this secondary asset that's being traded, uh, which was just like numbers on a screen at the time. And by uh, the way, were you were you doing it on uh, Mount Gox or, or how I, was that going? Well, actually, our original purchase, my original purchase was using, used to have like five different hops, using like SnapSwap and a few other things and go to like GateHub, but then they'll like deliver you. You'd start off with a hundred dollars and like you'll get Bitcoin worth $80 sort of thing because like there's wow. so many in between sort of um and it was mostly mostly because i was just curious what the silk road is uh so we logged on and there's like this b number that kind of showed up which changed every day but the dollar amount stayed the same so like for example something was 10 bucks but yeah. your big value changed up and down so you're always like what is what is this number sort of thing huh. Uh, huh. yeah my first purchase was around 60 cents and went up to a buck 50 and then you're like oh this is great and then it dumps to like 30 cents. You're like, this is a scam. And then you dump it all. At the <laughs> um, but yeah, no, so I uh, was uh, in the blockchain space for quite a bit. And then um, I knew Eric uh, through being in the same space. And then- um, Are you referring Eric, to Eric Benz? Eric Benz, you have changed a lot. Um, and, you know, I'd always uh, been a supporter of Bitcoin Cash and uh, got to talking to the team and Roger and the rest of it kind of calm. And they were at that time thinking of like launching an exchange. Uh, and then, so they said, Hey, why don't you come in, come in and lead the exchange. So I came on board, um, July of last year, uh, we launched in September. Um, so it's a basic spot, spot exchange right now. Um, it's very Bitcoin cash. It's, we have Bitcoin cash markets. Um, not a lot of exchanges do. So that's like kind of one of our advantages. Mm -hmm. um, we also tend to promote projects that are based off of simple ledger protocol. So Bitcoin Cash has its own protocol called SLP. Um, it's simpleledger.cash. I think that's the website. Um, and it's uh, own our own protocol that's compatible with, um, uh, you know, the Bitcoin.com wallet and so forth, so and so forth. It's a lot faster, uh, quicker, et cetera. Um, and so it's like perfect for like, you know, uh, using tokens for payments and that sort of thing. Uh, we also have a stable coin that we just launched on it uh, and launched on the exchange. So on the exchange, we tend to promote those uh, projects as well. Uh, so give them a space to kind of list and, you know, work with the community um, and offer the community tokens. Um, what stable coin did you guys uh, recently launch? It's called Honest Coin. It's a US dollar backed coin. 
um, HUSD essentially. Um, okay. Given the volatility of last month, stable coins are the way to go, kind of thing, right? So um, people can hedge very easily. Uh, so we launched that, and then you know we're bringing about um, some new features uh, over the next couple of months. Um, you know, as with most exchanges, we're going to have our own token platform um, to help projects. Uh, bring to fruition, you know, what they've been working on, um, you know, kind of offer the tokens to the market. Um, so our own own launchpad of sorts. Uh, and then, you know, obviously take advantage of, give people to, uh, the ability to take advantage of the volatility in the market by leveraging themselves. So we'll introduce, um, you know, our margin trading um, side of things. And then we have like a, we have a few new products in the market in the, in the works as well, which might launch this month. So we're uh, thinking of um, introducing some tokens, so without some tokens that give people leverage or access to a basket of currencies, um, so kind of saying a 2x uh, inverse BTC return or BCD return, or um, a token that represents a basket of staked tokens and so on and so forth. So giving, giving people the option to do that rather than going out and procuring the underlying assets. That's really cool. Uh, uh, this, this all sound like great uh, products that uh, you're uh, soon be launching. You know, you mentioned yeah. volatility, and last month it was it was really high, right? And that yeah. could lead to higher trading volumes. Uh, a recent report uh, uh, showed that that 22 exchanges tracked by the block experienced an uptick of about 61 percent. Uh, did you experience uh, a similar uh, uptick uh, at uh, Bitcoin.com? Yeah, it was actually pretty great. Um, we doubled our volume um, compared to February. Um, you know, mainly because because of the volatility, like we just saw wild swings all over the place. And so um, we did see people did, um, our net withdrawals were higher than deposits. Um, mainly, because, not, not that people were settling for cash. I think people were just kind of taking things off, um, either buying more and then taking it off the exchange um, or just kind of like hodling for the most part, like taking it back onto their wallets sort or of thing. Uh, but we definitely saw uh, overall trading volume double uh, over the course of the month. And that, that normally happens when uh, markets are more volatile, right? And that tends to yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Right now, you guys, um, you guys utilize uh, the Badger wallet for the exchange, correct? Uh, well, we've got two wallets. So we're combining, we had the Badger wallet, which actually works really well with um, the SLP tokens that I was mentioning. Um, so you have a few Badgers in your wallet, um, which I, which I handed to you. <laughs> Do you have any Badgers in your wallet? <laughs> no, you took them all. Um, <laughs> I did. No, so we're we're combining our Badger wallet, which is our token wallet, with our Bitcoin.com wallet. And our Bitcoin.com wallet is one of the most widely used uh, wallets out there. Um, if you don't have it, you should give it a shot. Um, integrates Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash. Um, it allows you to buy tokens and Bitcoin uh, directly using uh, your credit debit card. It's got links to a few of the features. And eventually we'll be bringing the whole trading experience onto the mobile wallet as well. So, yeah. Oh, wow. So you guys are actually allowing uh, purchases then with uh, where, where people come in, use their uh, credit cards or bank cards and such? Yeah, we have those uh, at buy.bitcoin.com. We have it within the wallet and we have it within the exchange as well. So you can go and purchase um, most of the coins that we've listed, um, other coins through buy.bitcoin.com and have them deposited directly into your wallet or onto your exchange account, basically. Since, since you're more of a retail focus outlet, what are some of the uh, more uh, popular trading pairs that you have on the exchange? Where are you seeing the most activity? Yeah, I think uh, BCH, BTC are the most popular ones. Uh, people people seem to love those. Like you can see that people can easily, um, we have a lot of depth in our market. So like our BTC USDT is um, one of the deepest and BCH USDT. Um, and then those two assets against the various stable coins that we've introduced are, are some of the most popular markets. So far, SLP coins are very popular as well. Um, so we've got uh, Spice Token, which is, it's called Spice Token. It's got a little chili pepper as its, uh, <laughs> um, as its logo, but it's a very popular um, community focus and community built token that people can even tip on Telegram. So in Telegram rooms, you can see people tipping each other Spice who can then extract it and trade it. So it's kind of like this, got this really cool, um, you know, cross functionality sort of thing, um, which you normally don't get to see with most tokens. So those are those are some of the most popular popular coins. Very cool, very cool. And and why uh, why uh, London? Why are you guys? Um, why is the exchange based there? 
or well, I think the exchange is based out of Bahamas. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we're we're fully decentralized. Um, so I I live in um, London, and a couple of my team members live in London. But um, technically, we're fully decentralized. So we've got support teams across Europe. We've got um, our technology team um, in parts of Europe and Russia, uh, and then of course the rest of the team is distributed across the world, sort of thing. So. Oh, very cool. So you, basically, there's coverage going around the globe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our support, our support gives you coverage from, like, it's, you know, the follow the sun model, essentially, as they used to call it back in the day. Very nice. Uh, what do you guys see, um, uh, what are you trying, what milestones are you trying to achieve, uh, let's say, over the next year, the next three years, um, from the retail side? Is it, uh, do you guys have a particular uh, uh, goal line in place? Yeah, I think like uh, we want to be mobile first. Um, that's definitely one of the things. So, you know, our my biggest focus this quarter uh, is to bring that entire exchange experience to the Bitcoin.com wallet. Um, because it's one of the fastest wallets out there. You, you, you can make a transaction. It's also like very merchant friendly as well. So like if you're buying something in the store, you scan using QR code and zoop your, your Bitcoin cash for Bitcoin. Um, is uh, debited and credited straight to the retailer. Within yeah, I was, I was actually going to ask. I mean, you guys uh, are really almost uh, payment focused when it comes to BCH yeah. uh, as an actual means of daily transaction, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, right? Technically, it's what what was designed to be sort of thing. So yeah, that was that's been the focus, um, and that's what like a lot of our features have been designed to do. We have big merchant services. Uh, network. Um, we've got Marco Poino in the in the app, so like you can look at um, the uh, embedded Google Maps and it tells you nearby which places take Bitcoin Cash. So it's kind of cool. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, and so yeah, so bringing that entire exchange experience within the wallet. Um, so we already have the swap functionality uh, with several partners, but soon you know it'll be people can buy any coin, invest in any coin, look at their portfolios, you know, rebalance and so on and so forth. Um, and have that like a little bit more embedded. So that's one of the biggest focus. And I think um, another focus is to launch uh, the exchange in the US um, to give our US customers uh, the ability to kind of use our exchange um, as, you know, a means of transacting as well. That's great. Do you, uh, do you have a timeline for when you expect to uh, be in the US? Uh, I expect to be there at least in some form within this year. Um, you know, I'm hoping... Uh, there are a few partners we're spoken, speaking to looking at um, various states where you can kind of launch. And I think by the end of 2021, we should definitely be um, established in the U.S. Excellent. At least in one state at minimum sort of thing. So. That would be great. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, I noticed you also have um, uh, cloud mining and like a mining pool on the Bitcoin.com. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we have, a, it's, we have partners that um, have mining pools that we kind of help aggregate and then people can go and um, uh, you know share and start mining on them themselves and kind of like for a low fee uh, you can become your own miner sort of thing which is which is very exciting so we kind of encourage people to take part in that so a part of the ecosystem as well so just kind of lowering the barrier to entry versus yeah, yeah, yeah basically just giving giving people like you know access to um, the fact that hey you've heard of mining you know what mining is why don't you give it a shot with just like a few clicks of a button, set up an account, and all of a sudden you're you're on your way, sort of thing. So, uh, is that like the traditional mining pool where you come in and you're buying like a fraction of the uh, the energy usage for you know yeah, a certain buying, amount of return? Buying, yeah, you're buying computing power and server space yep. and energy for the most part. Um, you know, you get a share off. Um, whatever you've, uh, you're contributing to it, uh, in monetary terms, you get a share of it and then, you know, that's your, that's your mining return essentially. Very cool. Yeah. Well, uh, any chance you could tell us where people can find you, uh, Danish, uh, your Twitter, your website, what, uh, how, how do people get involved with the Bitcoin.com exchange? How do they get a badger? Uh, <laughs> and, uh, 
<laughs> How do they communicate with you? Um, so the quickest way to get involved um, is, you know, going to Bitcoin.com, downloading the wallet. Uh, we've got a faucet on Bitcoin.com as well, which means like, you know, you could sign up, register and get some BCH deposited directly into your um, wallet just to get you going. Um, our exchange is extremely easy to register. So if you go exchange.bitcoin.com, uh, you will see our exchange. Um, you can see the markets. It takes two clicks to register. Uh, if you're not in the U.S., you can start trading right away. Um, we, we do KYC only on certain certain limits, so you can you free to trade crypto to crypto right now. Um, and yeah, find me on Twitter at DJ Chaudhary underscore. I think that's is that my Twitter? That is my Twitter. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I think the best best way for people to get involved is just register and start trading on Exchange of and Common. Very cool. I, I do want to talk about uh, one more thing. Um, you and I recently uh, were on uh, a really great live stream with uh, uh, our friend Tone Vase, um, mm -hmm. along with uh, a bunch of other cast of characters. So it was really great. Um, it did. It was a long one. I think we went uh, just shy of four hours. Four hours. Um, <laughs> long one. Yeah. Did, I, mean, I gained a lot from that, um, from that uh, whole thing. Did you, what were your takeaways? Uh, what were your thoughts about it? And I mean, I think we had eight, nine people uh, in and out over the afternoon. Yeah, uh, it was Simon Dixon, John Najarian, yourself. Um, who else was there? It was oh, we, Evan Fang from Tapestry Capital. Yeah, he was there. Um, we had a couple of other people pop in. Ugly, and out. ugly old goat popped in. <laughs> ugly old goat popped in. Ugly <laughs> old goat popped in. Um, <laughs> he, was so good, he, uh, he reminds me of one of those traders back in the pit, like just sitting in the pit with, with one of those jackets, just like signing out, like, hey, you know. Um, but no, it was a lot of fun. Um, it was good to see. Like, I think uh, I expected Vase to really, you know, come at me for Bitcoin account, Bitcoin Cash, but it was. Yeah. It was actually very jovial. Um, I like Wade. He was, a, he was a gentleman. He's also a friend of yours. So, you yeah, know. yeah he's, he's a friend of mine. So yeah, that's why he was, he was very nice. You know, there are theatrics uh, that we kind of partake in mutually. Um, but it was good. It was great to listen to Simon Dixon um, from Back to the Future to see what his views are. Um, while he was, I think he was sitting in Gibraltar or somewhere. He's, uh, in, the, he's in the Isle of Man, actually. Isle of Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, oh, we had George on. George was on as well. Yes, that's, that's right. George yeah. Um, so George, uh, for those I guess don't know, George is CEO of Bquant, where Alex works, and Bquant is a partner of uh, our exchange. So we kind of work really, really closely together. Uh, Bquant being our institutional side, and Bitcoin Com Exchange being you know more the retail side. Mm -hmm. um, Full disclosure: my my London desk is about fifteen feet from yours. <laughs> the trading floor, so we're in the we're in the Bitcoin .com corner of the same. We're <laughs> doing bad luck all day, um, <laughs> but no, it was uh, it was good, you know. Uh, see George as well, um, and then obviously John Nigerian. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, and who was it from uh, Vanek? Um, oh, uh, Gabor Gerbach. Yeah, Gabor. Yeah. yeah. Can't believe that I was, forgot about that. Because that was, you always wonder about these ETFs and you don't really, you know, there's a lot of speculation in the secondary market that goes on. But this was yeah. kind of cool. I actually chat to Gabor about, you know, what. I think the first 45 minutes was just drilling Gabor on the Van Eck ETF. Oh my gosh. He was put under the ETF gun. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was great. It was great. It was good to see that he's still, you know, fighting the fight and still going for it. So we'll see how, we'll see how that pans out. Mm. Yeah, no, absolutely. What was your favorite part of the part of the show? I, I think uh, you know, I, I really I really liked what uh, what Simon uh, had to say from Bank to the Future. I think he's a really intelligent, a really intelligent guy. He had some uh, great thoughts on different things, particularly the, I mean the housing economy. I mean, we didn't just talk crypto yeah. the whole uh, the whole time. We spoke about, about yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, we spoke about all, all parts of the market. Um, and, and so I really enjoyed listening to his view on, on a bunch of stuff. Yeah, no, it was good. It was excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and so, I follow Vase on Instagram. So now, for the most part, he's like, 
teaching people how to uh, how to cook chicken livers and like a bunch of things. Yeah, I noticed that. It's almost be you know with this lockdown happening, he's almost becoming one of those people who video their cooking and yeah, yeah, and every yeah. night's a new thing. But it's only I've only seen like fish so far. Oh no, I've seen. I saw uh, he's got this curry powder. I think he brought it back from Bali when he was there. <laughs> um, he was making curries, but he had. The first video, first live was him doing chicken livers with like eggs and then I think huh. it was with eggs. And so yeah, he's that Ryan, Ryan's been cooking a lot. He is, he's like Chef 4RD down there. Oh, really? Er, well, that's his, a picture of his kitchen on fire behind him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, is, uh, I, this is what happened last night when I was cooking dinner. Nice. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for uh, joining us, Danish. I uh, really appreciate the time, man. Uh, to work with that. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And uh, wishing you guys all the best uh, in the world. And you know, I think we might see you in the future on here, maybe on this side of the table. Who knows? Um, but folks, definitely go to exchange.bitcoin.com, sign up, get your badger, uh, and start trading. Um, thank you everybody for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks, guys. Bye.